All right, guys, it's Dr. Genemy. Long-term tummy tuck myths debunked. Hey, guys, what really happens after a tummy tuck? The early phase, the mid phase, and the long phase. So, in the early phase, I would say the first week of a tummy tuck to second week, there will be some soreness. We try to combat that soreness with Xparel. Um, Xparel is an injectable made of a substance called marcaine inside of a plasmid, so it leaks out slowly. I inject that directly into the muscles, and I give you a block, too, of the abdomen, including the drain sites. I have heard one to two out of ten pain, up to three, but most people are, are pleasantly surprised. That first two days is going to be not rough, but you may have some lightheadedness because you do lose a little bit of blood. You can opt in for our cell saver, which, which actually circulates your blood. And if you have low, low hemoglobin ahead of time, we do use heme infusions as well. So that first three to four days, maybe up to a week, you're sore. As the soreness gets worse, you're going to be on your narcotic. It'll be hard for you to climb upstairs. So try to make everything on the first floor. Every once in a while, you may hear a pop of a stitch. That's because you're moving, right? And my stitches are on the lower end as well as on the zipper part of the corset that I use for your muscle. Don't worry if you hear a pop. We're not going to go back in and, and, and do anything about it. You'll also have two drains. Now, those drains stay in about two weeks. One comes out of one week, one comes out another. If one falls out, you don't have to call us that night. Call us another time. That's why we have two. Compression. Now there's conflicting evidence that compression really works. So we put you in some mild compression the first three to four weeks, and we get you in your garment for the next three to four months. Long-term, mid-term tummy tuck, let's say about the second week to the fourth week, the drains are out, you feel human again, you're still tight. You can get into your faster walking, light gym exercise with your arms, but nothing, no crunches or anything like that. Try not to clean the house until the fourth week. By the fourth to sixth week, you'll be ready to participate in your old exercises, but start slow. Your old house stuff, start slow. Cooking again, being around your family, sort of, I'd say, calling being human. Don't think that in the first two to three weeks, you're going to feel up to doing very much. Uh, creams don't help. Uh, lotions don't help. I get, once in a while, I get lymphatic massage questions. There's never been any evidence that lymphatic massage works or doesn't work. Some people do it. I've heard of some people doing it the day after surgery, which could be enormously painful. So I'm not a huge believer in it, but I won't stop you for doing it. We do have people we can send you for that. Uh, what else? Laying down. Um, laying down on a tummy tuck. We want you to sort of always be sitting up because when we make your tummy tuck tight, we kind of put you in a cracked position at about 45 degrees and sew you up. Another myth that I think I hear is they can't stand up after surgery. I mean, we're not, we're not making you a wholly bent over like that. You are, you're able to stand, stand up the next day completely erect. Uh, you don't need a walker after surgery. Some people try to get walkers. That's fine too. Uh, the other thing is you need to be moving your legs a lot. Uh, if you think that you're, you're one of those people that doesn't tolerate pain well, you may be in bed a long time, Get the SCD boots that we per that we sell, and they compress your legs. Um, there was just an article out about deep venous thrombosis. 41.7% happen in the first week. We do give you a Lovenox shot at the end of the case so that it keeps your blood thin. That, that doesn't prevent 100% of it, uh, but certainly helps. The SCD boots you wear in surgery help. Postoperatively, the SCD boots will help, but not 100% prevent. So make sure if you're getting a mommy makeover, tummy tuck, anything where you'll be more in bed than you think, make sure you buy those SCD boots. Nutrition is ultimately the most important thing. Make sure you're on your protein shakes, your vitamins, your arnica bromelain, your Surgilax for pooping, and your probiotic. All those things go hand in hand to keep you nourished enough to heal your tummy tuck. That's really the big things I hear about tummy tuck. I don't really have any more, but if you do, send me some questions and we'll answer them for you. This has been Behind the Mask. And we hope to see you soon.